Hello one and all. Welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about cast transformation in data flow of a jaw data factory. So the cast transformation, it is used to modify the data types of individual columns in a data flow. Let's say our source data set is CSV. So we know that when the source is CSV, all the columns coming will be of string type and there's a requirement at the target level that it should be uh, converted to the expected data type. So here in this requirement, we will convert the student ID from string data type to integer data type in the target. And then the percent marks from the string data type from the CSV to decimal data type. And in order to perform this data type conversion, we will use cast transformation. It enables an easy way to check for casting errors also. So in the cast transformation configuration, we have a third type check setting also to check for the casting errors. So here for this column student ID, I have user value called ABC. Okay. It is expected that the student ID should contain integer values, but it is having a errored value here. Okay, in the incoming data set. So this assert type check configuration of the cast transformation will help us to flag this student ID value and will be counted as null in the output. If this assert type check setting is check mark. Okay, if it is ticked, then it will be considered as null as well as marked as error row. So let's go to the data factory to demonstrate this cast transformation. So the first thing is in the containers in the test input folder, I've already placed the file cast input.csv with the same data. And in the data factory, now we'll begin to create the pipeline. So let's click on new pipeline. Let's name it as cast pipeline cast. Now we'll take the data flow and we'll name this data flow as data flow cast and now we'll connect the source so add source and connect to the data set the data set is in the gen2 storage account as a csv delimited text so we'll name this as cast input link service already exists so we'll select the link service first row has header file path we'll navigate to the file path it's inside the test input folder as cast input.csv click ok click ok so the source setting is done now we'll go to the data preview to see the data in order to see the data we have to enable the data flow debug option so enable it let's wait for the cluster to get ready So the data flow debug is enabled. We'll click on refresh to fetch the data. So the data appeared. Our next job is to add cast transformation. Cast transformation comes under the schema modifier section with the name cast. So we'll select cast. For the cast transformation, we have the first tab as cast settings, the stream name, description, then columns. So here it will display the first column, which is coming from the source. And here is the plus sign. If we click on the plus sign, next column will be added. If we click again on the plus sign, third column will be added. So we have added all the three columns here. And in the output, we want the student ID to be of integer type. So we select integer from the type. Okay. Column name, type and format. So we have selected integer for percent marks we want the type to be of decimal so we'll select from the drop down decimal okay and currently in cast transformation these many type conversions of the data is available okay if we go to the official documentation page by microsoft for the cast transformation okay if we go further down support for the Complex data type casting from the cast transformation is currently unavailable. For this, you can use derived column transformation. 
So we will go back to the data factory. So here we have defined the two data types. In case we want the class also, the first column to be changed, we'll name it as integer. Okay. Because in our data, both columns are of integer type and the third column is of decimal type. So if you hover over the different data types, you can see this edit button. Okay. So it is enabled for decimal and date data type. So if you click over it, it will give you the option to perform this type setting, type settings for the column, percent, marks, where you can give the precision and the scale of the data type for the decimal data type. So for example, this is for the percentage of marks. So we want this percent marks to be of scale 2. So we'll give here scale of 2, click OK. So we have given here for the decimal data type, the precision and scale, as well as Additionally, we have this format column also where we can set the format for integer. We have these many formats available. If we go to the decimal data type, we have these formats available. We can select as per our requirement. Okay. If we go back to the official documentation page, it says here some data types like decimal and dates will allow for additional formatting options. So additional formatting options I've shown you here. If you hover over it, decimal, it will allow you to add precision and scale. Similarly, for date data type, you can add the additional formatting options. Okay. Now, after giving the column name, type and format, we have another setting here, assert type check. It mark rows where type casting fails with type check error. Okay. So let's first uncheck this setting and go to the data preview and click on refresh. So the data appeared and you can see that the class is now shown as integer type student integer type one, two, three denotes integer and percent marks column e to the power x. That means decimal. And as per the type setting, we have given scale of two up to the scale of two. It is taking after the decimal place. Okay. Another important thing to note for the student ID column is that in the source data set, it was ABC. It was an errored column. So we defined it to be integer, but the value coming was not integer. So it has marked it as null. Okay. And this plus sign indicates that it will all be inserted into the target. Now, if you go to the cast setting and we enable or we check this assert type setting and again go to the data preview, then we should see here the change. Let's click on refresh. Now you can see for this student ID, which was not having the correct value, it is here marked as error. Okay. This is this cross red cross signifies error. So one row is marked as error. In this way, the cast transformation is very useful in trapping the conversion errors. Here it is written. It, it is used to automatically trap the conversion errors by using the assert type check property. Let's go back and now we can attach the sync. So we attach the sync here. Let's connect to the data set. This time we want it in a SQL database as a table. So we'll write the name as cast output link service already there for the SQL database. Let's create a new table DBO cast output. Click OK. Let's go to the data preview and preview the data. And we can see that the first two columns are of integer type 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And here decimal type for the percent marks. And this row is marked as error row. Now let's validate the mapping. Go to the pipeline. Publish the changes. And perform a debug run. data flow is in progress. Let's wait for its completion. So the data flow succeeded. Let's go to the database. So here's my database, SQL database. And we'll go to the tables. The name of the table given was cast output. So we'll try to select the top rows. And we could see the three columns here. 
okay integer integer and decimal and the row the error row is marked as null and if we extend this table details we can see the three columns data type for class it is int student id it is int and for the percent marks it is decimal in the database so we have completed the task of data conversion if we go back to the da data factory into the data flow after this cast transformation we could use filter transformation or conditional split if we want this error rows not to be added into the target okay we can filter out those rows so i hope you have got the understanding of data type conversion in data factory using the cast transformation thank you for watching the video happy learning bye